Hi everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineers Tech Hub channel. So we are going to start API Postman and REST SO tutorial from beginner to master level. So guys, so now these days, all the companies are looking for API testing. And we can uh, see in this video, I'm just going to give you the introduction of API and what is the importance of the API. Got it, right? So you can see, I can just give you one example. If you have a Facebook page, right? In the Facebook page, if you want to log in or you are the new register, you are the new user and you want to register yourself, right? So you will get some option. You can go for the your Google account, right? So what will happen through the Google account? You are going to log in your Facebook account. Understood, right? So be having the multiple example, like you are you are searching some flights, right? So we'll go for the make my trip. So you are you are searching the flight from uh, Patna to Bangalore, right? So when you will search the flight, you will get multiple option over there. Understood, right? So might be this make my trip is your make my trip is develop on your Python, right? But here the Indigo is developed on your different language. Understood, right? So we are going to integrate between the one application to another application, right? And we are transferring the data from one application to another application. So let's see, I have collected some point related to API. Just give me a second. So what is API? API means application programming interface. It is a software interface that allow two application to interact with each other without any user intervention. Understood, right? So two application is interacting to each other in the backend. Understood, right? API is a collection of uh, software function and procedure. API is defined as a code that help two different software to communicate and exchange data to each other. So you can see I have took some a snapshot. We have a client and we have a server. So your make my trip is your client and we have a server, right? So in the in what will happen, the users will search in the flight, it will hit to the server, then we will get the response. What the response will you are searching the flight from Patna to Bangalore, right? So here client, so what will happen if you will search it, hit to the uh, server, then you will get the response. The response you will get, what the response you will get. So let me show you the live example, okay? So we'll get more clarity. So I want to, uh, you know, I want to search some flights. So this is your make my trip. This make my trip, okay? You can see, I want see Delhi to Bangalore. So I am the users, I'm going to search client. Client is going to search. So what will happen? It is going to search. It is hitting to the server. And we are getting the response from the server. Understood, right? So here, what you are getting the response here? We are getting the response for Vistara, right? We are getting the response from Air, Air Asia. We are getting the response from Indigo. Got it, right? But user is not able to see how it is going to search, how it is hitting the response, right? So it is going in the back end. Understood, right? And if you want to log in your Facebook application or if you want to log in any other application, so we'll get the option you can uh, log in through Google account as well, right? So same example, I have written here, we have a client API server. Then you can see uh, this make my trip develop on HTML, CSS, client and you are, you know, hitting the, uh, you are hitting the, you know, uh, just uh, searching the that, right? So what will happen? It will hit to the server and you will get the response in your all the information. So this is called your API, guys. So you can have a multiple example and you can explain very well in front of the interviewer. So again, just I have given some peaks so you will get more clarity here. We have a mobile application request we are sending. So in the middle, we have an API. Then if you will hit in the response in the back end, you will get, sorry, if you will hit request in the back end, then you will get the response as well. Understood, right? So same thing here, you can see, just I have given some example user. So here I have also 
given the example of some you know restaurant so be are the user check the menu and make the order in the middle is your it, this waiter is your api right so it will go for the hit the kitchen it will tell to the you know people <laughs> who is making the food then they will prepare and the waiter will come as a they will deliver the food on your table right but in the back end the preparing the food that is your server so we having the multiple you can see here we have application client rest api request server data uh, server data uh, source and api so again this is the complete example of the api we have a back end we have a front end and this is your api so that's all in this video guys so see you in the next video please share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get new video notification if you will not press your bell icon you will not get video not notification so thank you so much please do not forget to share and subscribe my channel see you in the next video bye bye